Hello. Welcome. Happy New Year. And um, yeah, hope you're all doing good and hope you're all excited for 2024. Um, yeah, today's going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a introduction to life design. So a few people asked for this um, last week. So I thought I'd kind of put it together and do it on one of our live calls. So that's the plan for today. Um, I've got a bit of a kind of a slide show and I'm just going to talk a few through things. Um, but first, let me send out a few of these links so people can kind of join in. So I'll do that first and we can see if people turn up. But yeah, I hope you're excited for 2024. And um, yeah, I hope you had a nice Christmas if you were celebrating or a nice New Year's as well. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I need to learn how to, to multitask. <laughs> like, I feel like I can't do things on the laptop and uh, be talking at the same time. But um, yeah, so today, if you're interested, I'm going to do a bit of an introduction to life design because this is what I've been kind of talking about for a little bit. I released a life design check-in quiz last week and it's been great to see people have been using it and been getting a bit of insight into just a bit about themselves and I think it's kind of that time of the year where people start thinking about um, new year resolutions or new year new me and all these kind of things so um, yeah I just kind of wanted to get a little check-in um, which is based upon uh, life design kind of ideas and principles and I think whenever I release that it, it kind of um, people kind of came back and was like, oh, that was really cool, it was really helpful, um, but what next? I think that was kind of the biggest question that I kind of got, so um, it was a great question, and then I kind of was thinking, how can I, yeah, like, how, how, what's the next thing I can do that to maybe help people kind of start thinking about designing um, lives that they love to live? So um, the idea that kind of came up was um, to do a bit of a introduction, um, yeah, so I decided I threw together some um, slides, basically. Um, and that's what I'm kind of going to go through today. So um, I'll switch over to kind of give you a bit of a look. Yeah, so hopefully that kind of looks good on your end. So you can still see me. I'm here. Um, but I've also got some slides that I can kind of go through. Um, so yeah. Normally I kind of wait um, a few minutes just for people to kind of come in and stuff, but these uh, videos are recorded as well. So normally you can kind of watch it after as well. So if you've got other things you need to do and stuff, then feel free to do that. So I've got my tea. And um, yeah, I would say this hopefully shouldn't take more than 10 to 20 minutes, I would say. Um, and if people are about, um, we can do some Q and A's. If anyone has any questions, I'm happy to kind of um, talk through. Or if anybody is unsure, then I'm, I'm happy to kind of keep on talking about that. But um, yeah, the, the plan today is just to kind of go through this and to give people a bit of an introduction, and we'll kind of leave it there. So yeah, 10, 20 minutes, um, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I say let's get started and um, yeah, let me know what you think. And um, yeah, I've never done this before. I've never done anything like this. Um, so this is gonna be new for me. So we'll, we'll both be learning something together. 
hopefully anyway. So uh, life design and introduction. Let's learn the basic idea and first steps to designing a life you love living. Okay, so let's start with um, the goals. So what do we want to have after this, um, these kind of slideshows or this kind of um, me sharing this idea? So basically what I hope is, is kind of three things. Hopefully it's kind of simple. Um, I don't want it to get too complicated, don't get too detailed, take up too much of your time. So let's keep it nice and simple. So three things is what's the basic idea of life design? How can it help you basically? and how to get started. So that's the three main goals. Basically, I just want to share the idea with you and you can decide if it sounds good for you, if it's interesting, if you think it'd be helpful or not. So that's basically all this is about. So um, yeah, let's start about me. This is the bit that I get uncomfortable about, but I think it's good to know about the person who's doing the talking. So. This is me. I am Matt Locke, this guy over here. Um, I'm a designer, entrepreneur, digital nomad since 2016, and I am the founder of Meta Labs. Um, I've sold over 100,000 products online worldwide. I've traveled remotely in over 20 countries, and I have been mindfully designing my life for the past seven plus years. Things I am not. So I am not a life coach. <laughs> I'm not a guru. And I don't pretend that I have it all figured out and I won't tell you how to live your life either. But things that I am, so I am just a dude who is designing my life and I want to share what I've learned over the years and my kind of mission is that I want to help people sell things online so that they can design lives they love living. So that's basically what I want to focus on whenever I'm creating content or when I'm sharing things online. These are kind of the things I want to focus on. So this thing today isn't really about selling things online. It's more about the lifestyle design aspect of what I kind of share. And um, yeah, the reason I do this is because I have a belief about happy people uh, equals happy people. That's kind of one of my life mottos. And um, you can read more about my why and why I share these things or why I share ideas and why I share things for free um, over on my website if you'd like to know more. But that's basically me. So what is life design? So I did a quick Google to see what would come up and um, I got this quote which says, you can use design thinking to create a life that is meaningful, joyful and fulfilling. It doesn't matter who you are or where, you can use the same thinking that created the most amazing technology, products, and spaces to design your career and your life. So this is from Bill Burnett and Dave Evans' book, Designing Your Life. Now, I haven't actually read this book, but um, yeah, these guys have put together the thinking and they have frameworks and stuff there as well. So I thought it was a good place to see, okay, what is out there about this? So this isn't really a it's not a new idea. It's not something, an idea that I came up with, but I think it's just a way of thinking that I think is very helpful. So more specifically, what is it to me? Um, so basically life design to me is a way of thinking. It's a way of organizing and it is a way of living intentionally. So let's explain a little bit more about what that really means. So thinking, so thinking for me is this idea that life is like a game. So I have like a, an image here of the Sims. And I think that if you have played the Sims or if you've never played the Sims, well, hopefully you understand a little bit about it. But if you don't, basically it's a game where you get to, um, you basically get to create a character and play as a character. And it's basically a game about life and you're a character and you, you go into it and you start with um, you know, like certain uh, attributes about the person, or you might pick a career path, you want to design the house and how they live and relationships. It's all about just, you know, controlling a, a little person in the game and designing like a whole life around it. So I think that's like a great way of thinking about 
um, yeah, life design because you can understand it when it comes to a game where you're like you design a little character, how they look, and and then you know what they if they go to school, what do they study, if they go to the job, what what job do they get? So you you um, you kind of do all this thinking and planning, and you play it as a game, and it's fun. And I think it's like that's the same idea of what life design is for me. It's about thinking that life is kind of like a game, and if you think like that, then you can kind of start to um, design it in a way that that um that makes sense for you so if that's the first thinking so life design is a way of thinking secondly it is a way of organizing so to make things easier so whenever you play the sims it's fun because it's there is clear goals and there's clear objectives and there's a clear um way to play the game whereas sometimes i feel like life it kind of feels messy so we don't really kind of know a lot or we're kind of just kind of going with the motion but we kind of forget in this game you can kind of see here there's like a little meter for fun there's a little meter for social there's a little, uh, meter for energy so that that's how you begin to understand how to play the game because if your energy is low in the game you know that the character needs to go to sleep um, if the if the fun meter is low that means that you need to do things that will make the character have some more fun so doing a hobby and things like that playing a game so um this is how it's organized in the sims but in our life if you haven't have if you don't have a way of thinking around this it can kind of feel a bit lost but i think that life design kind of gives you these categories and this way of thinking so that you can do the same thing that you would do in the sims so you'd be like hey um I'm feeling a bit low, um, I haven't really had fun, you know, um, and then you can design a way to make sure you have fun. Or you go, oh, hey, I'm not, um, I'm not very happy about my body. Um, so you can design ways in, in which you can be happy about your body. So that's, that's all it is when it comes to organizing. All right. And the third one is uh, intentional. So this is like living the life that you want. So just like the Sims, they have like different like goals. So it might be a career goal or it might be a financial goal or it might be a goal to live in a certain house or have a certain TV. Like there's clear goals and um, whenever you have the Sims and basically you kind of design the game around kind of meeting these goals or, and, and that's the kind of fun of the game is um, kind of playing it. So um, that's the kind of same idea with this idea of lifestyle design where it's basically yeah, you're kind of deciding what would you like out of your life and kind of making clear steps in, in how you can kind of get that. So here you can kind of see there's like the different numbers of, um, you know, what they have in their life and there's like a total score. And I think that's kind of a really easy way to kind of look at things in life. So intentional living or mindful living, whatever way you kind of want to call it. So how does it help? Okay, so like we're kind of going through what it is, it's a way to think, organize, and live on your own terms. It is your own personal way of living because you're designing it um, with whatever way that you want, whatever way makes you happy, whatever values that you have, and it can fit into whatever is meaningful for you. So it's not, I think that's kind of one of the core principles that I kind of think about in lifestyle design. It's not that there is one way to live a life. There's kind of just, there's your way to live a life. And it's kind of discovering what that way is. What it's not. So it is not a magic fix for everything in life. And it's not going to be a fast thing that's gonna be like an instant overnight thing where, um, you know, if you're, if you're not happy about something and then you go, oh, I'll do this lifestyle design. And then you think that, I don't know, tomorrow everything's gonna feel amazing and better. Um, and it's not the answer to all your problems. So just to kind of make sure that managing expectations here. But how to get started. So basically you can do anything you want. And I think that's the great point about this. Um, it's your life, you can do whatever way you want and organize it in whatever way you want and live it whatever way you want as well. But um, 
what I've been doing is in this um, kind of start designing life, the kind of community and this idea that I'm kind of putting together is that there is these life areas. So there's 12 life areas. So basically this is a way of organizing life. So just like the Sims and you have the different um, categories, they had fun or social and things like that. And um, these are 12 categories, which I think covers pretty much everything in life. So it's, I think it's a good starting point. So as you can see here, we have body, we have mind, spirit, friends, love, family, money, work, emotions, character, lifestyle, and dream. So this is pretty much everything. And I think the great way is that if you have areas, even just having this is super helpful because whatever you want can fit into each of these areas. So if you imagine that life design can be like, or these areas can be like, folders i don't know if it's like in school you have folders and you have like different um you know uh uh yeah do you know like the dividers in folders these could be like the labels of dividers and the good thing is like let's take body for example is it's not that these areas you have a defined what you should have in them like you can put whatever you want in that kind of folder structure so within the body if you find a exercise that you love so for someone that might be playing football i like playing football for someone else that might be dancing for someone else that might be hiking or walks or going to the gym and um, whatever you want that you can kind of put that in there for yourself and even more than that is that yeah there, it, you can kind of design it whatever you way you want and these are just kind of the areas dividers where you can slot things in whatever works for you so hopefully that kind of explains a little bit about the areas or even if you find a you know a workout routine by someone that you really love you can put that in there so it's kind of more just like an organizational system rather than a like do it this way system if that makes sense so these are the kind of areas that um, we have with start designing life okay so the idea with so again, you can design your life whatever way you want, but in order to um, try to help people, I'm trying to think about well, what would be um, to give some clear uh, directions to help people kind of get started. So there's kind of three um, steps that I think that kind of, um, that incorporates everything that you kind of need to know in how to kind of design your own life. So there's three steps and then there's kind of like the main <clears throat> principle. So let's kind of go through them. So the first one is clear. So that's all about learning about you. So yeah, I'll go through them and then I'll give a little bit of commentary on each of them after. So number one is getting clear, learning about you. <clears throat> after you've done that, you want to cut. So let's make it small, simple and silly. And then three is cheer. That's all about fun and support. And then the secret kind of principle that was all, all around this is about the happy people equals happy people. <clears throat> Sorry. So clear. Um, as a general idea of what clear is, clear is just all about understanding you, where you are now and where you'd like to go and being really specific. Um, and I think that this is kind of where a lot of the thinking kind of comes down to, where I think not a lot of people spend time, you know, um, thinking about what they actually want, you know. Um, and I think that's kind of like one of the hardest bit is getting really clear about what, what you actually want. And I think this is kind of, it's very specific for everyone because everybody has different like goals and dreams and aspirations. And also, you know, you have personal circumstances and different environments and, and things like that. So I think getting clear is kind of one of the most important bits. And um, because once you get clear, the actual how to do it um, and all that is kind of much easier. So I think there's gonna be a lot of time should be spent on getting clear. Um, so an example of this could be instead of let's you know choose body because I think we can all relate to body instead of being like um, I would like to lose weight you know I think that's very vague and um, getting clear would be like asking like 
all the questions <laughs> like you know it's like what do you believe about um weight so some people might believe that um that you know they were just born and like the way they are and they, they can't really change anything about their weight so i think you know that's a belief and i think even if you start thinking about okay what do i believe about my body that's that's a good place to start because sometimes even beliefs can can make things tougher so if you believe that you can't change anything about your circumstances or your weight then even if you start thinking about oh well i'm going to do this diet and, that, and you know maybe try this workout or whatever but if you have the belief that you can't really change anything then i think that um you won't actually be able to do the thing because you already had that belief that you couldn't do it so um yeah getting clear is like getting clear in beliefs getting clear on maybe specifics of okay maybe it's not how much you know how much weight do you actually want to lose and um, can you be specific how are you going to do that why are you going to do it what like routines are you going to do what are you going to eat how are you going to keep yourself accountable how are you going to keep track of this and um, so i think there's kind of like there's a whole um like what does it look like for you do you have someone who is inspirational to you that you can kind of like take from as well um so there's a lot of questions i think um even if it's something that seems simple which is uh, i'd like to lose weight but i think that we're it's easy to get stuck where we have something that's a vague idea and then if you have a vague idea you're not really clear and it's harder to kind of get to that end goal but if you were a person who could be like um i want to lose five kilograms i'm going to do you know this exercise every day for 30 minutes i'm going to eat these certain foods every day or you know i'm going to i don't know have this personal trainer who's going to keep me accountable and um, i have a picture of i don't know what i look like five years ago which is what i want to look like so if you start building up um this um big picture then i think that you could probably see yourself if you have someone who just went i would like to lose weight and then you have someone else who was maybe like had a big list um of all the things that they are going to do um, specifically, then I think that's what getting clear is about. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. Um, and yeah, I said I wouldn't go too much uh, details about all the specifics of this, um, but yeah, cutting it is just like cutting that down, making it simple, and then sheer is like, that's how you actually get it done. So um, that's the kind of three kind of steps to designing life. And clear, that's what I've been talking about, your now versus the future you. This is all about asking yourself questions in order to design a life that you love. Um, yeah, you need to know where you're at now and where you'd like to go in the future. And then that's how you can organize, track and measure it. So yeah, one of the things that I um, was putting together um, over the holiday period was the life design check-in. And that's kind of part of um, what I thought would be helpful in order to get clear because yeah I think it's it's hard to even know how you feel or sometimes yeah how do you really think about things like do you have like a clear way to measure it so for example body like um yeah do, do you know how you feel where you're at now compared to where you'd love to be but can you like define that? And I think just having this, um, basically a, a quiz, you do 60 questions, and basically by the end of it, you actually get a score. And I think that's super helpful because if your score is say 40 out of 100, and you know that, oh, okay, well I'm 40, you know, 40 out of 100, and um, that's, how, that's where you are now, and that's how far away you are to where you'd like to be. And then maybe you can start trying um, uh, new exercises new diets and things like that and then over time you can kind of see that oh look my score actually increased from 40 to 50 and that's how you can like measurably design a life that you love living and um yeah so i think that's what's helpful and i've been talking about body but you can put that with whatever you can put that with your emotions or family and sometimes these things are a bit harder to kind of measure you know um can you how do you measure if you're feeling better today than you are um in a month's time or in a year's time so just doing these things it's a bit of a check-in and it kind of gives you a bit of a starting point at least and um, to get clear about yourself so you get to learn about you and um, it's measurable and you get to track your progress because that's the idea you do it 
you do one now and then you can try it again in a month's time or six months time or um, basically if you've set out to do something and um, to make some changes to do some improvements then you can actually measure how you've been getting on okay so what's next so um yeah I've, I've kind of went over the overview went through the different steps we went through the different 12 categories so i think to some practical steps to get started if you're interested is to start with a quiz because it takes less than 10 minutes and it kind of gives all the information that you need about where you are now versus where you'd like to go and i would save it so like you can um you, you can just save it as um because uh, you get your results straight away so you can save that as a document so this is what i did i saved it and i kind of put it in a folder to just remind myself uh, and i left it with a date you can also add to it as well and um, these are kind of like general questions based upon like you know how you're feeling if you agree or disagree but if you want to be specific for example in the body section you could put in your specific weight and um, and you can just yeah you can add um, any extra details you'd like um, to make it more personal to you and i think after this it, it's this is when you start asking yourself questions and spend time on it so this is the, this is the bit where you really need to get clear on and 12 categories is a lot i wouldn't recommend trying to do them all at once i would start with one and um, maybe one or two and spend maybe like you know spend a week or you could even spend a whole month and just really thinking about it and start writing about what what exactly that you want and getting real specific about it and then once you've done that that's the clear bit then you want to start designing your own simple plan and this is where you're going to test things out you're going to experiment you're going to record what's worked what hasn't worked and then the last bit is the cheer so that's when you want to come back and check your progress and you want to make it fun you want to get support from people and you want to kind of enjoy the journey as well so there we go we had three goals and um, of basically this and we wanted to, what's the basic idea of life design? How can it help? And how to get started? So hopefully you kind of feel like you have, um, that I've answered <laughs> those three things. Um, feel free to ask any questions uh, if you'd like as well. And um, yeah, and now I'm gonna end it with a story. So I kind of had this idea the other day and um, and hopefully it will kind of explain the idea of life design um, in a nice story. So, the boat lost at sea. And uh, yeah, I've just got some notes here, so I'm just gonna read them from the notes. Um, okay, well, hopefully you can hear. Let me move it. And then at the end, if anyone's got any questions, then we can do a bit of a Q and A as well, and I'll see if um, if I can answer any questions. Okay. Okay, the boat lost at sea. You can feel a bit lost in life. It's like being stuck on a boat in the middle of the sea. Some days might feel okay, sunny, calm. Other days it might feel tough with big waves, wind and rain. Without having a plan, you can keep paddling, but with no real idea, just hope. Maybe you just rely on motivation, discipline, enthusiasm, which works some days, but other days it doesn't. The idea of life design isn't that it will magically transport you to land, but it is a tool set of thinking that can help you to get there. Getting clear. How many people are on the boat? Where do you think you are right now versus where do you want to go? Where's the land? How much food do you have? What direction would you like to go? North, east, south, west? Can you make an agreement that this is the way that you'll go between everyone on the boat? Even if you have to adjust and change course over time, can you agree to go that way? How will you get there? Will you paddle there? Do you have a motor? Will someone row? Will another person be catching food? This is all about getting clear. Um, step two, cut. What does it look like in its most simplest form? 
Can you say it in one sentence? How can you make sure that you will be able to do it and stay consistent? For example, we will paddle east with three hours of paddling daily per person and we will rest and switch every three hours. Cheer. How can you make it fun? How can you celebrate the journey? How can you get support from other people? How can you support other people? This is gamifying it. So maybe it's, we're gonna sing and we're gonna paddle at the same time. Or we're gonna track what's your personal best paddling for the day. Or we're gonna tell each other stories about our, our, our lives back on, you know, that we live when we were back on land. Maybe we have paddle streaks and we celebrate each person whenever they finish their paddling shift and we celebrate other people. And all this is tied up with the idea of the secret, which is happy people equals happy people. So we all live in this planet together. And the secret is that we all just want the same things. We want, we want a healthy body, we want family, we want love, friendships. And the secret is happy people is equals happy people. If you are happy with your life, you will naturally want other people to be happy with theirs too. So everyone wants to get to the land and by helping and supporting each other, everyone will win. So this is the idea of the boat lost at sea. So maybe you might feel like this. I know that I definitely felt like this when I was in my twenties. I definitely felt like this. I kind of was a bit lost and I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, and yeah, I think having some ideas, it gives you kind of clarity and it gives you direction and it's your North star that you know which way you want to go. And having one of these for kind of each area of life makes it super helpful. So that is it folks. And, um, yeah, well, hopefully that was helpful. Um, and yeah, you've learned a little bit about lifestyle design life design and you have an idea if you think that it would be helpful for you or not um but yeah if anybody has any questions then uh let me know yeah I'll, I'll spend some time if there's any questions i'll answer it and um, if not we can wrap it up um i see the revs here hey rev a bit late but on but here now thanks for making it Do people feel like, um, did you at least learn something? A little bit? A little thumbs up? <laughs> okay. Well, this has been fun. I've never done one of these before. But I thought it was quite cool. So I'm going to, we're going to wrap it up there, I'd say. And I will put this in the Discord community. So people can kind of watch it whenever they feel ready. Um, and you can kind of come back to it as well. And um, yeah, let me know. And yeah, if you want to do the life design check-in quiz, I've left it um, the link in the description. It will always be there. It's free. It's easy, it takes less than 10 minutes, 60 questions, um, and you'll get an idea. Um, yeah, and uh, if you like this, then, you know, we can do this again. So, thank you very much for joining in, and yeah, I will see you on the next one.